is the second day of the Hinman, and we had really good conditions. Started off about 15 to 20 knots offshore. It was a strong Santa Ana. Uh, about noon, it died, switched around to the west, and the sea breeze filled in, and it was really good sailing here. Well, I think our team is stacked. I mean, uh, Justin Law has been team racing for a, a long time. Uh, multiple All-American in college, um, and Michael obviously as well. And then our crews, I mean, Adrian Patterson was a female sailor of the year, and uh, Marla was also an All-American, and Lucy was an All-American. So we basically had a very eclectic group, kind of all different eras and different teams in college. Um, but I think that really helps us because we have a lot of different skill sets that we learned at those different schools. I think that the FJ is a, is a great boat to team racing. If the Vanguards weren't available, I think FJ is definitely the next best option. Uh, Southern California, there's tons of boats. Newport has a bunch of boats. So we were really able to rip through a bunch of races today um, because they had so many boats. As far as the maneuvers and stuff, I think initially the, the college kids and the high school kids yeah. probably have a bit of an advantage um, just because they sail them all the time. I think most of us haven't been back in an FJ since maybe college, college sailing. Yeah, it's been a couple of years since we've all been in the boat, so the first couple days were definitely a little rough, but um, we're starting to get the rust off, so. <laughs> uh, we just take every race, one race at a time. I know it's kind of the old saying, but we don't really get too caught up. I didn't even know that if we were winning tonight until we just checked. Um, so we're just gonna go out and try to win a race, and then if we don't win the race, we'll try to go out and win the next one. So um, you really can't get too caught up in the points. You just gotta go and take care of business each race, and. Uh, in the end, everything kind of falls into place. And I feel like the teams who do pretty well at these events are the ones who can bounce back from losses. It's such a competitive regatta, you're gonna lose races, but if you can come back from a loss in a race and then keep going on to win, that's pretty much been our MO so far, it's worked out. Yep, you gotta be able to lose. 